I'm Alana and I play the accordion, otherwise known as the Stomach Steinway. I'm Georgia and I play the mandolin. And I'm Katie and I play the guitar. And I'm Hannah and I play the ukulele. And we are All Our Exes, exes Live in Texas. Texas! We were all living in Sydney, we'd all kind of moved from different places and Hannah and Georgia had studied in Perth and Hannah grew up in Melbourne and I grew up in Brisbane and we all sort of just found our our way to Sydney and then um, we were hanging out with a bunch of really amazing folky blue bassy musicians in Sydney and there's kind of a big scene for that kind of music and we were just hanging out and going to parties and jamming and playing and a friend of ours put on a show like a an Oh Brother Where Art Thou kind of tribute night and he said hey you guys you should make a band and we did and Georgia learnt the mandolin about a month before our first show and we googled learnt is a strong <laughs> picked it up from the shops yeah. um, and we googled best slash worst country song title names and came up with all our exes live in Texas and then we played one show thinking it would just be a one off and cut to four and a half years later and <laughs> here we are a friend of ours described our name as um, the best name we could think of that afternoon. <laughs> to a lot of kind of strong female mm, yeah. sort of indie folky rockers like Margaret Glasby and Angel Olsen and Sharon Bennett and all that that whole world of ladies has kind of yeah. been having a big um, I was gonna say resurgence but maybe it's just a surgeon <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah that's imagine all quite inspiring I think the very first gig we did a Muppet song where we all <laughs> the music. So they yes. were an early influencer. Yes. <laughs> very early. Mm. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. I'm my old grandpa. <laughs> many, many years ago when I was 23, I was wearing to a widow who was pretty as can be. So, you know, very highbrow, very it's really uh, cool. musical. Picture the biz. Mm. It is quite highbrow. It's, it's about a very song. complicated family tree that is mm. quite um, ingrown. It's quite in <laughs> Our first show when we got here a few days ago was the Beautiful Days Festival in Devon, and we sprinted down there as fast as we could in our car, but there was a lot of traffic. Um, anyway, we ended up running on stage and the audience was just patiently waiting and they'd never seen us and we'd never seen them <laughs> and we were quite shocked at how beautifully quiet and attentive I feel like the audiences here mm. in terms of folk music are very appreciated and quite educated. Um, that's the feeling that I got because, mm. yeah, I was shocked at how quiet everyone was. I feel like in Australia there might have been a bit more... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's very true. I think maybe over this side of town, um, slash the world, it's, um, <laughs> it's got, there's more of an appreciation of music. I feel maybe that's, maybe that's not right, but... <laughs> you know, it feels like people listen even if they don't know you necessarily. They're sort of like excited to have new music. Fresh meat. Fresh, fresh, fresh meat. Anyway. I'm gonna get my heart cut out. It keeps letting me down. And we love coming to the UK. It's beautiful. People are friendly. No, we're coming back in October yeah. to play with a band called CC Smugglers. Mm -hmm. And we're going all around the UK and all around 
the UK. <laughs> and I think also we're just doing England and Scotland. The UK. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are answering 50%. this question. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, Either. That'll be fun. They're apparently really amazing. And mm, we've that, heard they're lovely nice. people. It's always nice to pair up with another band. Especially if they're smuggling CCs. Yeah. I love those. I love, God, I did some CCs nice right now. We haven't had mm. much opportunity to go out and experience the London music have scene. George? Yeah, George, maybe you have. Well, it seems like they're in some nice little venues, like this paper dress vintage, and there are some, and the Nest Collective, which we did last yeah. time, mm. and Green oh, Note. Yeah. There are some, like, there are some lovely sort of small size venues, which are, which are nice for our kind of thing, and which are certainly are sort of on the decline in Australia. Mm. So that's nice. support each other and sing harmonies on each other's music so that's a massive plus and also I guess the um, amount of administration or work is spread by four but it's mostly <laughs> like when you walk off stage um, and you do a great solo gig you might just go to high five someone and there's no one there <laughs> to high five uh -huh. whereas so um, <laughs> after we come off stage uh, we all have a big hug and we, we can all cheers each other and I don't know it feels like a very um, shared journey and I think the our album title When We Fall is very much about um, us all kind of working together as a group and the idea is that when one of us falls we all kind of not fall hopefully but scoop them up. Stack. <laughs> There's a lot of jigs and reels on our there's, album. There's a lack there was a lot of jigs, of jigs. and reels. <laughs> that is reels. really annoying. <laughs> Singing in tambourine, that's all you really need. <laughs> tambourine. I miss the days when it was just a tambourine. Turn up at the gig, tambourine, voice. Yeah. When did those days? When when did you do Before a solo? Before your time, like babe. Oh, Before your time. No, no, I meant like, like I'm here. I'm going to sit in. Yeah, so you just to do backing vocals oh, for Jackson right. Jackson. There was a lot of booty shaking, yeah, a lot of tambourine. Yeah. I thought you. I thought in my head you were like, that's your show, just solo voice and tambourine. And I was like, when has that ever like had a surge? <laughs> never had surgeons. a surge. It's never surged. Ding. Yeah. On topic. Don't. Well, now it's going to happen. We release that idea into the public. <laughs> I think maybe at the moment my favourite one is possibly Candle, I think, yeah, that's, which is Katie's one. We actually, there was someone sent us this such cute, like someone yeah. had covered, had, this man had like filmed himself covering Candle and I feel like that's Covered when we... himself in Candle. That's mm. And then I feel like that's, nude. But, oh God, <laughs> I feel like that's the moment when you, you can kind of be like, oh, I got a little, real little thrill yeah, out of that. Yeah, when you've got a YouTube yeah. cover, that's yeah. very, it's pretty cool. I but it's also like, tabs. I get to shred mm. on the mandolin on that song, so you do. it's quite selfish. You do. Yeah. But I do also think it's a great song. But I get to shred, shred on the shake. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, whoa. That's <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Shaker really comes to the front of the mix. <laughs> <laughs> We're never actually going to leave this vintage shop, to be honest, because none of us are going to walk out of here with any money left. It's so we're nope. going to possibly move in here. Mm. I'm going to sleep in the coats. <laughs>
Ten, 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 ten. Hey!